And I, I didn't actually sell the top edge. I actually sold on the way back down. I sold just below 15,590. I sold just below 15,590. But look at the look at the hedging. Look at the amount of hedging that's coming in off the top edge here, guys. Look at that. See that? We showed Argo the line this this line this morning. There was a question about, you know, looking at the hedging aspect of the the uh, trade here. And when you saw that amount of hedging coming in, and you saw the cyclical selling. And obviously, the, with the cyclical selling and the and the the broader market selling, I love that bit of value at the top edge. Love that bit of value at the top edge. And uh, that, my friends, is how you deal. Beautiful, wasn't it? Beautiful. I've just taken some more shorts there against that uh, little cheeky uptick there and i'm just seeing if i can book some money against it i took some shorts against that uptick there at uh, 588 and down she goes guys 588 now trading 578s here now 578s traded 578s 577s 576s 574s 573s 72 71 79 69 68 67s down she goes whippy fecking do thousands of dollars profit guys again that was pretty easy mike That was a few thousand dollars profit. Does everybody see the sale? Everybody see the dealer sale? You must have seen the dealer sale, right? Well, it's not exactly invisible, Mike, is it? Look at look at the Nasdaq. Look at the NASDAQ, for God's sake. How shocking is that NASDAQ? It's ridiculous. It's plumb awful. Crazy. But anyway, what a quick sale, guys. What a beauty. 3,000 bucks. As quick as you like. So here's the sale that I took uh, just there. Does everybody see the dealer sale? Yes or no? So we can see here that um, the price should be up here, shouldn't it? The price should be up here. And then you see these buyers getting blocked. There's the dealer sale right there. There's the dealer sale right there. So if we know that's where the dealer sale is, my job is to join in with the dealer short. So the dealer is accumulating short inventory. So I jump in just as soon as I can to get filled on the short inventory position of the dealers. And then I get short inventory positioned beautifully. And then we run the price back down to the bottom edge. And we make a very, very, very easy money short profit. Very easy money short profit. And we've uh, absolutely killed it, guys. Absolutely killed it. So, bit of volatility kicking off just now, guys. Bit of volatility. It's a big day, by the way, for, uh, for names coming out with earnings. Just bear that in mind, guys. We are one earnings release away from a, a, a shocker, right? So, uh, just bear that in mind today. It's a big day for names. Just sold some again at uh, 15590 guys. That's nice. Stops at break even. We've just got down to 82s, 81s. 82s, 81s, 84s, 85s. It's come on, hold on. Let's see another one. Let's see another one. Can we hold on to this trade? Yep, yep, yep. So far. Not too much. Come on, hold on, guys. Hold on. Sell side business for me again. 15,590. 
15590 sell side guys yeah Okay, the dealer's just offloading some of their inventory just now, so I think they're going to try and take the price up towards the top edges again here. So I'm closing off my position just now, guys. I'm just taking a bit more profit off my short position in this balance area. And um, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of... I'm not, I'm not closed it yet, but I'm taking a lot more profits on the down tick down into this 8384 just now because the dealers just seem to be picking up a little bit of long position into the down tick here. I love the short. I don't want to be long the market. Um, but I'm taking a lot more profits on this down phase here. That was quite good. We got a little bit lower. I think what they're going to do is they're going to try and run the stops at the top edge here, guys. 590s, possibly the 600s next on the on the uh, on the on the agenda here. So just bear that in mind that they look as if the dealers are just offsetting some of their trade just now, and because of that, they're probably going to try and run the stops at 600. You see what's happened to the Nasdaq there? Very very quick money spike back up to 595. So it looks exactly as if that's what they're doing. I've got a little bit of business against that guy that got jammed at the top edge. What an idiot. And uh, we've taken a little bit of profit off it and we've just been scratched. Plus one on the trade. I'm basically playing aggressive here, Mike, to just because we've not got the top edge stop run. I think that's coming, and I don't want to get too aggressive into a short trade for the squeeze, because obviously the short, the, the stop run at the squeeze at the top edge could be brutal with the liquidity just now. So I don't want to get to, into too heavy a short position. So I'm basically just scalping shorts against jammed buyers, and uh, just trying to make sure that I can uh, stay, uh, stay with the deal. And I've just been scratched out again. We're just up at the 600. Let's see the stops. There it goes. That's what we said. That's exactly what we just said, isn't it? That's why I didn't want to get heavy short, right? That's why I didn't want to get heavy short. Crazy, isn't it? So that was all visible, guys. The sell we took off the 590s, we closed out at the 85s. Remember we just told you that? And that's exactly the reason why we says they're going to go for the squeeze. We would expect them to run the stops at 15,600. They just ran the stops at 15,600. As if by some sort of voodoo magic, we've called it again, guys, on the right-hand edge. Brilliant. What a brilliant trade. Well, that's me off the trade for the time being. I'm going to be watching to see if we get any price action on the, the uh, S&P to start using that for the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is overpriced on a rotation at the moment, so I am still interested in maybe going again on the short uh, NASDAQ trade. I'm going to be watching for the dealers looking to start accumulating some short business on these upticks, and I will be looking to try and sell into that phase. It's just came off the 625s just now. I've taken a little bit of a Momo short off the 625s. I've got some fills at 623, 622.5. Um, I've made a little bit of money. Dealers just pulling away from this up move at 